Hi there, Sam here and welcome to another video in the Creating Your Project series. In this video we'll demonstrate how you can add competitors to your project. To get started, I want to make sure that I'm in the Rank Tracking module under Keywords here. Rank Tracking is definitely one of the main areas of the platform, allowing you to dive into and dissect data in a wide variety of ways. Be sure to check out the videos in the Monitoring Your Keywords series, which goes into great detail about the metrics and the insights available through this module. For now, let's focus on getting some competitors added. As you may remember from the first video, I created a new project for Boohoo, and now I want to monitor some competitors for this domain. This is very simple. All I need to do is hover over Track here, and then select the Track Domain option. This will give me this pop-up where I can enter the name of the domain I want to enter. For this example, I will use www.amazon.com, and notice that I don't have to use the HTTP extension when entering the site. It's also worth noting that subdomains can be tracked here as well. If I was to save this as it is, this would add Amazon to my list of monitored domains and Authoritas would start collecting Amazon's ranking data against the keywords that I am monitoring in the project. Competitor rank checks are free on the platform and you'll only ever use rank credits for the checks that we make for your site. The link data checkbox gives me the option to choose if I want to get the backlink profile for the competitor domain that I am adding. Please note that if I do select this, it would start to consume domain credits. You can turn off link data at any time, and there will be more on this in the Link Data Basics video, which you can watch for more information. So like I just said, clicking Save will add Amazon as a competitor, and you can see it among the others I have already put into Authoritas. Now, also under the Track action is the option to track path. This allows me to specify certain parts of a domain that I wish to focus on making it a great way to break down domains that have multiple different areas, such as department stores. To configure this, I simply choose a site from my list and then enter the path I want to monitor. All that's needed here is the path name, and I don't have to type out the full URL. Tracking paths is also completely free, and it will not impact on your credit consumption. Of course, both domain and path tracking don't just have to be used for monitoring competitors, and I could use the process we have gone through here to bring any number of sites into the platform. And that's it. Be sure to check out step 4, adding keywords next, as well as the other videos in this series to help you get your project up and running quickly and effectively. To learn more or to ask any questions, feel free to reach out using the details provided at the end of this video. See you!